Yeah, like it's the most amazing thing. When I look at the Nike swoosh on the hijab, it looks as ridiculous to me as any of these photos on the bottom look to you. So you guys all understand these are Mormons. These are an extreme interpretation of Christianity, and some people say they're not even Christian at all. These are Hasidic Jews. These are extreme interpretation of Judaism. Most Jews are, you know, agnostic, secular, atheists. They're not Hasidic. But to take them as the representation of who Jewish people are is really unfair to the rest of the Jewish community. And then over there, we've got, I don't know what they are, Amish? In, <laughs> in, their, in their aprons, you know, putting a Nike swoosh on any of these things would be ridiculous. And putting a Nike swoosh on a hijab is equally ridiculous. It is not, it is a symbol of far left, hardcore, orthodox Muslims. Most Muslim women in America do not wear the hijab. It does not represent Muslim women. And when you do this, it makes it really unfair. I'm going to mention Asra Namani again. She also has uh, an article where she talks about how she is shamed. There are a lot of Muslim women that will shame other Muslim women for not wearing a hijab. And now it seems to be the prevalent understanding in society that all Muslim women wear a hijab. And so when they meet a Muslim woman who doesn't wear a hijab, it seems to be strange. And that's really unfair. 